is up guys thanks for tuning in to the channel today we're going to talk about flight suits and basically the different kinds there are out there the different kinds you can buy the different kinds that you can be issued depending on what department you're in and we're gonna do it right now What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jeff Jorgensen. I do everything from uh, gear reviews to hiking stuff to gaming and I just cover everything. My background is as an aviation rescue swimmer, uh, currently active duty, so my opinions are my own and they do not represent in any way or shape or form the United States military. So without, getting, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So this first one is the one that you usually see uh, everyone in. Uh, this is your Gibson and Barnes one. So this one right here, <laughs> let's stay, look at those, look at those sexy, sexy faces. Uh, this dude looks like he probably retired maybe about 30 years ago. No, I'm kidding. So you got pockets here, pocket down here on each leg. And then this is usually where someone will put like a knife or trauma shears or something like that. And then there's a little string that always comes with the flight suit that you can tie into it. These little fat straps. <laughs> It's pretty much what they are uh, as you get if you get a little bigger those will loosen up a little bit and you have your pen pocket over here you can put pens in a little zipper right there and two front zippers right here and then name tate your squadron patch will go right there and then you got two other patches american flag and then your uh Gidunk patch which is just a, a, a graduate level air crew training patch so there is that one now let's move on to let's go to dry fire now this one is kind of my favorite right now so dry fire two piece um these are i i got my first pair in like 2000 i think 13 so top bottom two two yeah, obviously you got your let me see if i have both of them nope i just it's a set so top and bottom these things are freaking money the fabric is just it's it's lightweight it breathes a lot better um the good thing about it obviously it's modular so you have the top piece and then the bottom piece so if you're like working on the aircraft or doing anything um you can just take your top off obviously if you're flying you uh you have to keep your actual top on so you wear an undershirt under that obviously it comes in tan and then same 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 kind of thing goes for that it has the same overall concept of that one pocket here front pockets it has these little uh side shoulder pockets that you can put pens in but then again you also have actual pockets that where your hand would normally go so that's one thing that i actually like about these uh, it actually has those pockets as well as well as cargo pockets on the side with the leg pockets so the cargo pockets are just kind of nice when you're walking around yeah you're like cover or whatnot you can put that in there flying there they can be useful for putting things temporarily in but uh this is your uh, dry fire these are these are my I've, i still have my original pair they've lasted a super long time all right next on the line is your massive now i have a pair of these two these are these are actually not too bad um personally me i like dry fire better just because the massive um it has a rip stop in it and the rip stop just in all honesty i tore these things trying to lift a uh, uh rubber rating craft into a freaking 305 you know rubber rating craft into the aircraft and i just split my ass cheeks right down the center uh, let's see if it's got a back view can i view it from the back nah oh anyways split the basically right here all the way down the back but it has the same basic system it has side pockets right here boom boom it's got your leg pockets and then leg zippers uh it has that same little uh pocket for a knife or anything you would like there um another cool thing uh i like about it is these these sides unzip and then there's mesh on the inside so if you're hot uh, those will unzip and you can let air flow in the only thing I don't like about this is it is a freaking fart suit beyond no belief it just seals everything in so getting any air flow through there you really have to open up those zippers whereas the dry fire you, it breathes a lot better um, it's just the material I've I've only had these a little bit the back belt loop on these uh, pulled off 
really, really, really quick, really easy. The belt, the stitching on it just came up. I had to get it stitched out. I had to get my butt cheeks stitched up. Um, I, I've just run into more problems with these. I, I personally don't like them. Um, on top of that, the sizing differences between the, uh, the I think it's the, the medium and the large is like astronomical when it comes to the waist. It's just not that, it's just not correct. But obviously, there's a two-piece, so you got the top. The top isn't too bad, same thing. Um, I do really like this um, this right here, this little pen pocket. Too often, they got a little cap on it. I like how accessible that is. So when I'm flying, if I'm doing anything, if I need to write something down, uh, this is easily accessible, this part right here. You do have that air vent pocket kind of right here on the side on both sides, name tape, front zipper, same concept. Uh, overall, like I said, I love these things. Now, the plus of having a two-piece flight suit vice a one-piece flight suit is the modularity of it. So we'll, we'll get into, for example, the combat shirt. So I love this shirt. I have this combat shirt myself. Um, Massive has one. I hate the Massive one. I'm not even going to go in. I mean, a lot of people will like it. This one fits a lot better. Um, on top of that, it has elbow pads, uh, which is nice when you're like working a hoist, working anything on the deck. Um, you know, just overall, any type of elbow or knee protection is just money. And it just fits and breathes better. It's the same material as this other, um, the two-piece here, this this one. So it's the same concept. It's just the combat top that goes with it. It's just it just works better. Um, the one that I have not uh, flown in, which was just approved not too long ago, um, to fly in by the Navy, is the G3, the Cry Cry Precision. Now, I know a lot of people who have used these before and they swear by them, the top and the bottom. Now, Massive does make a, uh, let's see if we can find them here. I know they make them, let's see, Hellman's. They're called Hell. All right, so this is the modification to the actual uh, two-piece pants that you saw these guys where are you where are you go back go back there it is massive so here's the massive bottoms come in different patterns obviously then they made the hellman's pants so these pants have knee pads in them which is which is money and they come in and out so you don't have to walk around all day with knee pads in but they have uh straps in the back now these are good i hate the material however from what i understand uh, these G3 Cry Precision are freaking money. So reason being is they have the same knee pads, but right here in the back, you can see it has this kind of mesh material, which helps it flex a lot better to your body and flex just in general. It has a little bit in the back here where the knees are. Um, so these just in general work better. They have different pocket systems with it. And the shirt as well is just overall from what I understand made better so uh, I'm hoping to get a pair of these uh, soon we'll, we'll find out um, but we'll, and I'll let you know how they uh, work and actually when you fly and work but overall dry fire dry fire the best that I've flown in right now the one piece is suck um, and that's pretty much what I got for you uh, I'll go over boots next. I got a slew of freaking boots that I can talk to you about. Um, going from Rockies to Bellevilles to um, uh, Danners, all, all those different boots. And we'll talk about the pros and, and minuses of each boot and what it does for you and what it can't do for you or, you know, positives and minuses. Everyone has a little, every, everyone thing has a little takeaway. So. Thank you for uh, tuning in, guys. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like. If you guys ha like a flight suit or see one or you know something a little bit more, uh, some other options out there, hit me in the comments section down below. And until then, catch you next time.